going on an adventure. Really? Yeah. Oh, come on, you guys. What? Going on an adventure. Thank you, Dr. Walker. We're going to take a magical fairy ride to the, it really is magical, to, oh God, <laughs> uh, to the Orkneys, and I'm so pumped, and we get free breakfast, yay! Change of plans, did you hear me? Today is the okay, free day. Okay, but, but. Sunny, would you like to tell us about what we're about to do? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> so much help you are. We are at the Highland Park Distillery and we're going on a tour of the distillery and a tasting afterwards. And I'm very excited. Stack it a little further in, a little further in, a little further in, until you have a, a gap small enough to cover with a capstone. Now, the easiest way to do corbel vaulting is actually to keep going until you have a very small capstone, but the strongest and most stable way is to have a huge capstone and as little vaulting as possible. And that's what they did here, and it cost a great deal to move these heavy, heavy capstones, but that's why they're so strong and stable and able to stand up for thousands, literally 4,000 years. Okay? Now if you look down here, you'll see the chambers, that's why it's called a chambered cairn. Each each one represents a bedroom. You have to think of this as like a house. A house for eternity. And each one represents a bedroom and would have been occupied by one or more skeletons. And it could be that families use these for literally thousands of years. That's how old this is, 4,000 years old. Right? So it could be that families would come here and bury matriarchs and patriarchs and perhaps people who died in childbirth, which would have been a great number, in different chambers so that they had an ancestral home that lasted thousands of years even as their own homes were used by the living. And over time, this thing is covered by dirt and earth. No one's really sure if they deliberately covered it with dirt or whether that's simply what happens over thousands of years. We just crawled into this little space. Oh, watch out. Here comes Dr. Walker. I'm so glad that was over. <laughs> have views. So cool.
<laughs> I know. Come here, Goose. Oh, they're coming. Come here. No. Hi, Goose. Oh, one's pooping. <laughs> Look at the one in the back. He's like, hey, what y'all doing? Look at them. Aww. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> They're all just watching. <laughs> Sunny, we're such goobers. Oh, don't be scared. Oh, they, okay. All right. Well, let's hurry and take a selfie before they leave. All right. Come here, Sunny. Are you ready, Sunny? Goodbye, Orkneys.